Hey everyone, and welcome to question two associated with the likelihood ratios lecture. As usual, I encourage you to pause the video, attempt the question on your own, and then watch the remainder of the video to see if you did it correctly. So in this case, we're evaluating a new test for disease X. We have a sample of 100 patients. We know there are 50 positive tests. We know that PPV is 80%, and we know that NPV is 90%, and we're asked to calculate the likelihood ratios. As usual, when I have a situation where they're giving me a lot of numbers, and I know it's a you know, two by two sort of question, I always start by drawing out the table. And every time I draw the table, I put test result along the rows and disease status along the columns. And then I fill in with the information they gave, and usually you can come to the final answer. So in this case, we know that there are 100 total patients. We know there are 50 positive tests, and therefore we know there must be 50 negative tests. And then we know that the PPV is 80%, meaning the probability of having the disease given you had a positive test result is 80%. So this cell must be 40, this cell must be 10. And then we know the negative predictive value is 90%, meaning the probability that somebody with a negative test result does not have the disease is 90%. So this cell must be 45, this cell is five, this column total is 45, and this column total is 55. So now we know if we wanna calculate the likelihood ratios, we need to put things in terms of sensitivity and specificity. So first let's calculate sensitivity. So you know sensitivity is the probability of having a positive test result given you have the disease. So in this case, it will be the probability of having a positive test result given you have the disease. So that is 40 over 45, which we'll estimate to be 0 0.89. And then we know for specificity, that is equal to the probability getting a negative test result, given you do not have the disease, which in this case is equal to 45 over 55. Which we'll estimate to be 0 0.82. So now that we have the sensitivity specificity, it'll be easy to come up with the likelihood ratios. So for LR positive, you remember, is the probability of having a positive test result given you have the disease over the probability of having a positive test result given you do not have the disease with over without, which is then sensitivity over one minus specificity, which is equal to 0 0.89 over 0 0.18 which is about five. Then we know the LR negative equal to the probability of getting a negative test result given you have the disease over the probability of having a negative test result given you do not have the disease, again, with, over, without. So that will be one minus sensitivity over specificity, which is equal to 0 0.11 over 0 0.82, which we can estimate to be 0 0.13. So these are our answers. If you had trouble with this question, I'd recommend watching the lecture on calculating testing characteristics and the lecture on likelihood ratios. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and good luck.